So a few months ago I started supplementing with iodine and uh, the results are back. Over the last year, me and my brother both have had our blood checked and they have all come back showing that our thyroid is showing some signs of being hypothyroid, meaning uh, the thyroid is not functioning properly. Now to keep it as simple as possible, I'm gonna dumb it down a little bit and say that there are primarily two things you look at when you look at thyroid function. You have the brain and the thyroid. The pituitary gland in the brain sends a signal called thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH to your thyroid. Your thyroid reacts by creating T4. T4 is later converted to T3 which is kind of the active hormone in your body. We haven't really had any symptoms of having being hypothyroid but we've also only kind of been on the edge of being hypothyroid. So here's our numbers. I'm going to read them out to you. In, um, let's see, for me, the 10th of August, 2017, my TSH was 2.1. My T4 was 10.2. And you can check the reference ranges. I'm going to write them on the screen. Uh, then I checked again. 1st of November 2017, my TSH was 3.8 and my T4 was 12.5. I checked again in January 2012, uh, 2018, uh, my TSH was 3.23 and my T4 was 12.5. This shows that my, my pituitary gland was trying to signal my thyroid to make T4 but my thyroid couldn't for some reason. And that's why I was thinking of iodine because the thyroid needs iodine to create T4. In fact, T4 stands for there being four iodine ions in, in the hormone. Um, my brain was kind of screaming, make T4, but my thyroid was kind of, uh, yeah, but I'm tired because it didn't have what it needed. That was at least my theory. Uh, let's take a look at Michael's uh, blood work. The 20th of June 2017, his TSH was 3.7, his T4 was 11.2. The 30, 23rd of November 2017, TSH 2.1 and T4 12.6. Then I decided, okay, this is weird. It shouldn't be like this. I looked into what could be the cause of it and I decided to start supplementing with iodine. I started supplementing with potassium iodide at a dose of 225 micrograms, which is considered a fairly low dose. And what happened? Well, my brother also started doing this, by the way, at the same time. We checked our blood work recently and uh, take a look. The 28th, this is me. 28th of March, my TSH was 1.8 and my T4 was 18. Suddenly a lot higher than what it has been before. Same story with Michael. The 12th of April, his TSH was 1.3 and his T4 was 17.7. .7. Who knows? This could be caused by something else, an anomaly, maybe, but I don't think so. I think it's the iodine that we have been deficient in before. The reason we've been deficient, again, check out my previous video about iodine. And this just confirms my opinion that every vegan should be at least considering taking iodine supplements. So I hope that was easy to understand. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into this. Uh, there's certainly not as easy as TSH and T4 but uh, that's at least the general indicators of being hypothyroid or hyperthyroid if it's uh, too high. So yeah, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, take a look at our coaching programs on our website, Sweet Natural Living, if you're interested in private health coaching with Michael. And uh, there's lots of other cool stuff there as well. Enjoy your day and uh, I'll be seeing you around. Bye.